there. Please, come and take a seat. How are you? I'm, I'm very well, thank you. What can I do for you today? Right, okay. Let's see what we can do for you. Can I just get some details from you? Just start with your first name, please. Yeah, and your last name. Can I have your date of birth? First line of your address. Is that Avenue? Yep. Can I just have a phone number from you? Is that two? Good. Do we have any emergency contact details for you? Right. So what's their name? Do they have a phone number? Yeah. And what is the relationship to you? So your chief complaint is about your toes is it is it specifically any toe is it both feet so your chief complaint right so it's okay so it's the big toe joint right and is it painful is there any lumps on it anything like that so just describe the general kind of condition your big toe joints are in Okay, so they have a lump, lumpy joint, right. Mm -hmm. Is the joint very stiff? Stiff. Yeah, your joint should be able to move about 60 to 70 degrees. Um, if you've got a stiff joint, it can be reduced to as much as 30 degrees or even less. Um, there's many conditions such as bunions, but the most likely thing is something called hallux rigidus. Yeah, hallux rigidus is very, very common. Um, but the issues associated with it can grow over time. Um, it typically starts in your teen years and then it progressively gets worse as you get older, but there's no need to worry because there's many different treatments we can offer we can offer um orthotic insoles we can offer specialized shoes to keep the sole stiff which would reduce the amount of pain you're in on your big toe joint yeah so it's it's one of these things where we see it very common but the treatment process can take a while to get used to it yeah that's fine so really what I want to do is have a proper look at the joint itself I also want to see how flexible it is and just generally look at this the foot we want you, first thing I want you to do is I need you to walk from your seating position here. I want you to walk to the end of the door and then back. Uh, can you just take your shoes and socks off, please? Thank you. So basically, I just want you to walk from that door. And all I'm assessing is to see how much your joint is causing problems with your foot. Because this joint, if it's hallux rigidus um it can cause flat foot um you tend to walk instead of walking off on all your feet 
instead uh, you're pushing off the big toe on the side so it's pushing it can make your foot look a bit deformed um, that's a more advanced stage though but anyway if you just walk to the door and back for me good and just do it one more time for me good I'm noticing that you do seem to be flat-footed you seem to drag your foot um, is it more noticeable with um, yeah, is it more noticeable when you're walking with shoes on? Right. So shoes very flat footed. Um Okay, yeah. I think there's something we can do, but the best thing to do really is to examine the foot a bit closely. I'm gonna press against the toe and see how much movement it has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, we might have to book you in for an x-ray because that's the chief way of diagnosing hallux ridges, especially if you've got the type of bunion called a dorsal bunion on it. That can cause some problems later on in life. just want to sit on the bed for me I'm just going to first push against the toe and see how much movement it's got going back so if you just want to relax for me relax the joint can't do this if the joints not relaxed so so you're just going to push it back mm, there's not a lot of movement at all I reckon you're only moving that toe about 10 to 15 degrees it looks like we've got a bit of a bunion developed on it yeah, it doesn't look that good. Um, yeah, it looks very... It looks like the bunion has developed as a result of the shoe has been rubbing on the joint. So, tell me what size feet you are. You're sevens. And when you were a child, did they put you at the narrowest, like, shoe? With the, I think it's E. Right, okay, uh, um, we tend to recommend if that condition is present, yeah, uh, if it's not diagnosed early then you, you can't change the shoes, um, so what happens is people have very narrow shoes, uh, if they've got narrow feet, they measure them as narrow feet, and what happens is the shoe just rubs and rubs and rubs, and the cartilage just starts to form even more um because there's trauma to the joint so it's most likely that um you've got an advanced stage of it yeah the the joints are just not moving as good as i'd like them to the can i just ask there's no history of rheumatoid arthritis in your family right okay can i just have a look at your hands I noticed that you've got your, your pinky finger looks very bent. Have you had that all your life? Yeah. Yeah. Same on this hand. I think it might be wise to refer you to a rheumatologist. Um, and we'll get some blood work just to rule out rheumatoid arthritis. Because I'm not happy with how the joint looks on your toe. And... Looking at your hands, they do seem to exhibit signs of arthritis. Not specifically rheumatoid arthritis, but we need to rule rheumatoid arthritis out because if it is that, then we need to treat it as soon as possible to prevent the um, damage to the cartilage as much as possible. Yeah, so if I just feel the foot. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, as I say, the... 
it does look like some of your toes are starting to bend inwards so we you might benefit from um some orthotic insoles yeah or uh, a custom made pair of shoes we can they can stiffen the sole on the bottom of the shoe and what they can do is it will prevent any um when you walk it won't be so much pressure on the joint itself it'll be spread to the whole of your foot because looking at how you are walking you're putting all that pressure on the big toe joint and let's have a look at your weight because um if you're overweight we need you probably to lose some weight because that can exacerbate the effects because your joint is if effectively getting two times the amount of your weight so let's say you're eight stone you're getting 16 stone on your toe joint so it's a lot of pressure it's under so we need to really if you are overweight just to ensure that we get your weight we need you to be at least under the overweight bracket we don't need we don't need you to lose a lot of weight because um yeah yeah i don't think looking at your history there's no signs of that yeah i think the best thing to do would be probably um see a rheumatologist get some x-rays get some blood tests to rule out any other conditions uh and then from there we might decide to make custom made in dot with late orthotics so um who referred you here right physio yeah um just looking at it i think it's probably worth just having a little bit of physio on the feet just to help with the walking see if we can try and just reduce this, the amount of pressure if we can try and teach your foot to use the other parts of your foot instead of just that big toe joint it might help it it would take several months i would have thought um but really this is probably a starting point physio maybe some orthotic insoles we can give you a steroid injection in the meantime but i don't really want to put you through that unless you're in absolute agony and it affects your walking do you stand a lot at work because there's not many jobs now where you're not standing for periods of time yeah how often do you stand and how how often do you stand up yeah so how many hours do you do a day all right six hours a day uh yeah if you're standing for most of them you're putting a lot of big a lot of pressure so i reckon we need to get the, the orthotics people involved uh we'll get the rheumatologist involved um we'll see you again in four months because it takes a while to get the orthotics department and the rheumatology uh we'll book you your blood test that can go back to the rheumatologist uh, there's a certain number we can use to identify whether um you have rheumatoid arthritis it may not be um uh, something like osteoarthritis but it specifically rules out rheumatoid arthritis which is the it's the one we don't really want if it's in the joints because it means you're going to be on medication and you may have to inject it into the joint it's not something you want to do so we have to rule it out especially if you're having steroid injections if we, we may not be able to give you steroid injections um if it's rheumatoid arthritis if it's severe enough we would have to just put you on medication we could try it if it was a mild case of arthritis. We caught it very early, but we don't know. We need to wait for the blood test. And I'll book you in for an x-ray of both your ankles and your toe joints, as well as an ultrasound to see if there's any cysts in the toe joints. All right, so that's you done. Um, I will see you in four months. If you have any concerns, please ring our office and we will sort you out. Is that all right? Thank you. See you. Bye.